Hey guys, Bad Infos here and welcome to a new GTA 5 Winter Mode video. Today we have to... Oh, we don't have to, well, actually we do have to. <laughs> In order to advance the story we have to play as Trevor. Yes, we're beginning the Trevor storyline right now. We just got introduced to him and we have to do a bunch of missions for him. Yes, so let's begin. His missions are like an hour long, well, not actually an hour. I guess his whole introduction is about 45 to 50 minutes long. So at the start we're only gonna see Trevor, but later on we're gonna see Michael. I'm not sure about Franklin. Because again, if you don't know, I did this a month and a half ago, maybe two months at this point. So I have forgotten quite a lot of things about it and I'm just talking over the footage right now. I have already... Oh! <laughs> he died. <laughs> Whatever. So. I recorded this uh, no, uh, a month or two ago and I'm just talking over the recorded footage. Yeah. That's how all the Winter Mode videos have been so far, of course. And if you want to suggest stuff I do in this walkthrough, I cannot provide you with that because I have already recorded everything. Except my voice, of course. Alright, so this is the winter mod. If you don't know, I put, I think, three mods together. You can check them all in the description. And there's also a tutorial on how to install these mods, again, in the description down below. So if you want to play like me, you can. If you want, of course. And I hope you enjoy the series. It's gonna be quite long. It's gonna be 9 or 10 episodes. I still have not decided. Yes, I still have not after this long time. But we're gonna get there when we get there. It depends. I hope it's 9, honestly, because the San Andreas Winter Mode playthrough was 9 episodes. And this also should be 9 episodes. I think. Shut up, Ron. Yeah, I'm gonna talk over these guys because... I, mean, I want to. Because I have to stay in silence for so long and you're not following the story, you're following... Like nothing. <laughs> You're following me, I guess. But this is not a walkthrough. I'm not following the story in this playthrough. This is a playthrough. I'm just playing through the game and I'm not explaining anything. I'm gonna explain some stuff as I go, but not much. Look at this. Even with the winter mod, this truck handled this stun jump. And in the walkthrough, when that happens, I won't do the stun jump because I do all the stun jumps separately, in separate videos, just like all the previous GTA games. How I did it there. Okay, so I gotta say something, the truck for Trevor is amazing. In the original game I hate the truck, just hate it so much, it's, it's so slow, it's so bulky. But here, it's quick and it handles a like a dream. If you take this truck and you take a a sports car, I would prefer this truck with the winter mod. I repeat that, only with the winter mod. Because this handles like a dream, guys, it handles just like it would without the winter mod. It would be a lot harder with a sports car. It would slide all over the place. Ugh. Okay, so I gotta kill a bunch of people. This is the first introduction to Trevor and his special ability. So there we go, the special ability. If you're not aware, his special ability is to... Um, he, it gives him a lot of um, strength and he gets a lot less damage. That's his special ability. Let's get in here. Whoop. <laughs> step right up, step right up. Come on. Holy crap, somebody shot me. Okay, there was something there which I wanted to take, so that's why it get, got inside. Excuse me, door. You're a pedestrian, dude. You're a drug dealing gangbanger. You have a math lab, just like in Breaking Bad. Oh, speaking of Breaking Bad, I started watching it again. Oh. I watched the whole thing back in 2013, I think, when it finished. And I started watching it again. Holy crap, dude, it's so amazing. And lots of things in that show are also shown here, like, for instance, there's a meth lab. This guy has a meth lab. There's drug dealing, there's running from cops and whatnot. There's secrecy, lots of secrecy. 
If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, then what the flip are you doing, guys? Go watch Breaking Bad. It's GTA, but in non-video game form. <laughs> Is that amazing? Okay, so here you have the option to kill the guys or to just let them live. There's no point in killing them. Also, I could pick up the weapons, but there's no point. Trevor in this game has amazing weapons throughout the whole game. The game just gives them amazing weapons. Just like that, poof, and he has a rocket launcher, poof, he has a grenade launcher, poof, he has a minigun. <laughs> That's it for Trevor. He gets amazing weapons. I can't say that for the other guys, but... Yeah, he still gets lots of good weapons. Mm -hmm. Michael gets only a few. I think he gets a rocket launcher. Ha, <laughs> he fell in the water. Did you see the red dot? <laughs> he fell in the water. And they are also affected. Some vehicles which are ultra mega scripted are not affected, but most vehicles are. Including the cops, the police officers. Yeah, they are affected. So we have to push this moving home and can, can you tell me how can a truck push this? How is it strong enough? Of course it's 4x4, the, if, I mean 4 wheel drive, it has 4 wheel drive but still how can it push the whole thing down dude? It's insane. Look at this. How can it be so strong? It was pinned to the ground. Now we have the option to kill this guy or let him live, I'm just gonna kill him because why not? It sends a message. And I'm not sure if it changes the next mission severely, but I don't think they do. And if this was a walkthrough I would research this, but no it's not a walkthrough, in my walkthrough I'll tell you the exact information. That's why this doesn't take that long to start and the walkthroughs take that long to start. For instance. Between GTA 3, the GTA 3 walkthrough and GTA Vice City walkthrough I had 5 months in between, between Vice City and... And what I'm actually gonna ch check right now. I'm actually gonna check how long it takes me between walkthroughs. Okay, so from GTA 3, between GTA 3 and Vice City it took me 5 and a half months to start the Vice City walkthrough. After the Vice City walkthrough it took me 3 and a half months to start the San Andreas walkthrough. From San Andreas to LCS it took me 5 months, from LCS to VCS it took me 2 months, and from VCS to GTA 4 it took me 2 months and two, uh, 10 days. Yeah, so there's lots of preparation as you can see. The same does not happen for the playthroughs, it's completely different. I played blind, no preparation whatsoever. Which is cool, because sometimes I like playing games without preparing for them, of course, because in my walkthroughs I do prepare quite a lot. Yeah, get out, dude. And Trevor has a safe house, just like every single other person, of course, and I don't have a headlight. This truck is amazing, guys. Oh, some naked chicks. Mr. Phillips. Good. So I think the next one is in his house again. The next mission. I just have to wait for it. Speak! You know Speak! Oh no, it's not. Okay, I have to go to see. I'm pretty sure there was a, a T mission in his house. Guess not. Okay, whatever. Gotta go to see. Interact with pedestrians. No, thank you. That's a side mission. I don't want to do that. I'll just complete the main missions in this game. There's quite a few main missions and this game is quite long, just like San Andreas. But San Andreas can be completed a lot faster. With glitches. If you use glitches, I won't use that many glitches in this... Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah, I won't use that many glitches in this playthrough. Oh, as you can see, yeah, there's a T mission! Is that a T? I'm looking at this in the small screen, so I can't really say if that's a T, I'm pretty sure that's a T. Pisswasser. <laughs> that's in German, if you don't know, I have studied German 12 years in school. 
and honestly it's such a such a such a difficult language to learn but I have picked up some interesting words from it I have learned some good stuff And Bulgarian is actually a difficult language. Yeah, Bulgarian is a difficult language because... Well... Sometimes we don't say the words like we write them. For instance, Lotka. You say Lotka, right? You use a T sound, not a D sound. But you write the, let, the word with a D, not with a T. You don't write Lotka, but you write Lodka with a D sound. Shut up! Okay, this is an amazing mission. Just wait a little bit and explore that. Just wait a little bit and explore that. Wait a little bit and explore the other thing. And later, you get a grenade launcher. That thing is amazing. But at the start, you have to use this. Plop. 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 This mission is amazing. I love it. This is one of the first major shootouts in this... In this game. One of the first shootouts, it's amazing. Okay, so shoot these guys, they need to die of course. Cause they're in my territory, I have a mad lab and I have to cook. Okay. Good. So far so good. A pistol! Trevor, really? Why do you have a pistol, bro? You noob. Okay, he did? Give me the rocket launcher, give me the rocket launcher, give me, come on. I want a rocket launcher. Not a rocket launcher, rocket grenade launcher, not a rocket launcher. There's a huge difference. I'm pretty sure you can take it actually before, a little bit before this. Yeah. Good. So much mayhem. I love this mission. Could you give the rocket uh, the grenade launcher already? Come on. I'm shooting for two from too far away. Uh, that took a while, stupid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could, could have taken it a little bit beforehand and I don't have to wait for him to steal me. Oh, the mayhem, I love it. So many explosions. This game is amazing. I love it. I love the missions, I love everything. Okay, so let's get down, there's gonna be a bunch of cars coming this way and we have to kill the people only in the first car. Which I didn't know about. So I kill the first the people here and I start shooting the other people. Because it thought that you have to do it. But no, you don't have to actually kill the other people, you just have to kill the people in this truck. Which is an off-road vehicle, which is great. Go back to the lab and get me a damage report! And also I forgot my guys, there's a bunch of Chinese people here and I forgot to take them. As you can see, whoop, I forgot to take them, so I'm going back. It would be, it would be kind of the same if they're in the icebox or outside because it's pretty cold outside because it's winter, you can see snow. So it's probably, you know, cold outside too. I think we have seen quite enough. No, it's not enough. You need to be punished a little bit more. So let's take this amazing vehicle. Oh, well, it's not as amazing as my, my truck. So I didn't check, take my truck because I'm stupid. Yeah. It doesn't work very well. Okay, let's go to Mr. T. Mr. Trevor. Mission. <laughs> mission. <laughs> Trevor's mission. Is this the sniper mission? I think this is the sniper mission. The sniper mission is amazing too. All the missions in this game are I mean, not not the missions. The yoga mission sucks buttocks. Yeah. It sucks butts. So bad. I hate this mission. Oh, I don't want to do that mission. But the majority of these missions are amazing. Especially the heists. The minigun heist. Oh, the Polito base core. That was an amazing heist. Here. Okay. No cutscenes allowed. If I can skip the cutscene, I'll skip the cutscene. If I can't, I won't. Oh, there's a police officer. You're not buying anything, I'll buy some armor, dude. You're not buying anything. Pfft. 
Trevor. How do you feel about brand synergy, huh? Yeah, how do you feel about that? So I need a sniper, of course, for this mission, and yes, I did, um, I did get it correctly. It is a sniper mission. Okay, give me some armor, please. Armor, don't forget the armor, dude. Okay, good. You're a good boy. I guess so bad is the biggest one, because I have lots of cash. I have like 100,000... 106,000, I think. Yeah, I have lots of cash. Trevor has lots of cash. In my walkthrough, I could begin with him by buying all the clothing options in the game. Because he does have lots of cash. So I should start with buying everything. What, dude! He deserved to die, but I didn't kill him because I would have to get police attention. But I would have killed him if I wasn't recording. Oh yes, this is the first fail, the first major fail you're gonna see. Oh boy, it's so embarrassing what I did here, but you're gonna see. Just wait for it. So, after we climb here, we're gonna see a cutscene. The way to skip cutscenes is to press the space bar. But the space bar also makes me jump. So I'm pressing here, pressing, pressing, and I was, I was still pressing. <laughs> I fell like a dummy. That was hilarious. The first time I did it, I said, oh my goodness, face palm, face palm, everyone's gonna laugh at me. And yes, everyone's gonna laugh at me, but it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. I didn't do it on purpose. I was just trying to skip the cutscene. The way to do it is by pressing space. Chill out, Ron. I wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! Chill out, I won't shoot you. You're my Ron. My wonderful Ron. <laughs> Trevor hates everybody. <laughs> he hates Wade, he hates Ron, he hates... Michael? Yeah? Not, not Franklin, I don't think he has Franklin. He doesn't hate Lamar. He thinks he's his homie. Thank you. Go, bro. Quickly. You don't have to shoot these lambs, but I did. And I have to wait for him to move his butt and park at the spot. I'm not sure if you can get out and shoot from down below, but it's a nice vantage point. I'm pretty sure though, if you have a a silent scope on a pistol, you can go closely and shoot them from there. I'm not sure, though. Again, no research has been done. But you probably can get, a, like, for instance, an assault rifle with a silencer, a suppressor it's called. And you can go there and shoot them from close. But first of all, this is a lot more safe and a lot better, I think. Because you usually don't get the chance to shoot people from far away in missions, in many missions. You shoot them from close. And if you shoot them from far away, you don't use a sniper rifle. No, he's not anymore. <laughs> Sharpshooter Mr. T. Looking for his buddy. Down he goes. You're in my crosshairs again. And there's no one left to kill, so get over to that gas tank and plant the bomb. Not many more for now. Chill out, dude. I'm way ahead of you. Thank you. Yeah, let's go on. This mission with a console would be bad, because I hate using snipers with a controller. And for Vice City Stories I did have to use a sniper for one mission and that was so bad, so difficult. In my walkthrough I almost failed the mission actually, but I didn't. Which was good. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking over this airport. I can buy it later. And do some missions. He has to take down a helicopter and the second shot did it, guys. I was not expecting that. And of course that aroused lots of emotion. 
It was not the only thing which it aroused. Yeah. It aroused. Driver's suspicion or something. Yeah. It was a failed attempt at a joke, okay? So, I don't wanna get out yet because there's people I have to kill and I need a fast transportation. But I have to get out later. It's okay, it's so good. I have to kill other people, I'm pretty sure, and then I have to take over the thing. Mister, get back here. Okay, I need to get out. Dude, get out. Get out is dangerous. Okay, good. You're a good boy. As you can see, I have so many weapons. They just give me lots of weapons for nothing. Plop. Plop. Ooh, that was a bad shot. Yeah, some people might say this is a bad thing. These special abilities, but it does help a lot and you don't have to actually use it. So if you don't want to use it, don't use it. So we have no complaints about that. Yeah, start it up, dude. There's a person behind us. So yes, I didn't have to actually kill everybody because there was a person alive. Still. He is still alive. Can I actually use a special ability here? Did I try to use it here? Let's explode this. This explosion is amazing. Do we use amazing too much because as because this game is amazing? <laughs> what can I say if the game is amazing? I'm gonna say amazing every uh, all the time. Of course. Vamos! Who said Vamos? Was it Catalina who said Vamos? Somebody in the GTA universe said Vamos. Oh! It was Mercedes, I think. In GTA Vice City. Yeah, it was Mercedes, dude. She said Vamos once. Cool. I know my GTAs, guys. Yeah. I know a lot about the GTA games. And I'm very happy that I do. Can you drive a little bit faster, dude? Jay. Oh, another fail happened here. I remember stuff, guys. So I have to shake this guy, right? The way to shake him is to flip the plane upside down. There's another way, but I did this instead and... Bam! <laughs> I... I'm stupid, I know you can say it's... Bad info, you're so bad at flying. It was a good thing that it happened, because it put me so far ahead. Again, with the person on the plane, but it's okay. Chill out. Yeah, oh, holy crap, he hit the fan. It's not called a fan, a roacher? I think it's called a roacher. I'm not sure. Roacher? Route? No, it's not a router. Router is a, a thing for Wi Fi. <laughs> for the internet, it's not. Ooh, a train! In a future mission we have to chase a train, and that mission is interesting, very cool. Why would you make an assumption like that? In which I have to follow the damn train. Just like Smoke says. But here we have to fly planes, and this mission at the end of this mission is pretty boring, but the beginning of this mission is amazing. Because it's lots of shooting and whatnot, but here we have to just fly the plane slowly but surely. We have to fly all the way here and we have to go all the way back later. Which is pretty boring. Well, it should be boring because it teaches you how to fly the plane. It's not actually teaching you much, but it kind of is. Because this mission is easy with the plane, but the later missions with helicopters are pretty, pretty difficult. Okay, let's drop it. Drop it, dude! Oh, I forgot the button, yeah. I didn't see the the prompt at the top left. So I forgot the button and, and I went back after I saw it. Yeah! Nice. Oh, I wonder if it's 
Ah, what, he, what happens if he gets there first? Do I fail the mission or something interesting happens, like a funny cutscene or something? This is stuff which I would research if I'm not recording. It would be pretty interesting to see what happens. And really I cannot wait for the walkthrough, because in the walkthrough I'll do so many more things, like even things which I haven't done. I have completed GTA uh, 5 at 100% before, but I did skip a few things, because you don't need to complete everything in order to get 100% in this game. You can skip some things, and I did skip lots of things. And in the walkthrough I'll do everything, absolutely everything. Just like in GTA San Andreas, just like in GTA 4, uh, just like in every single GTA game, to this point. I wanna do everything. And that's why this walkthrough is gonna take maybe 8 months, 9 months when I started. That's why I prefer to start the GTA 4 DLC walkthroughs first and then move on to this one. Because the DLC walkthroughs are gonna take just a little bit, a, a couple months uh, walkthrough I guess. Even probably less than a couple months, so yeah, they are pretty short. They have like 20 missions I'm pretty sure. I think it's less than 20 minutes. Uh, tw less than 20 missions, not minutes. Yeah, pretty sure, I don't know. Nice dude. Very, very nice. You're a good pilot, Mr. T. You have to park in. That is it. I don't know if I have to buy this for a mission, but I, I'm pretty sure I do have to. Because I took it over and I, I think it's required for the future missions to own it. Because you do land stuff here uh, later. So I'm just gonna buy it, because I have the cash, I have so much cash, so I'll just buy it. Why not? But 27 minutes have passed and I'm still with Trevor, guys. Trevor's introductory missions are pretty long. Okay, skip this, I don't wanna read it, come on. Good. Jack She Servicing. That gave me 60... Two thousand bucks? Holy poop! How much is this? One one fifty was it? Oh, I didn't buy it. Oh, I guess it's not required. Okay. I didn't actually. I thought I did. Okay. So as you can see, I did play it a long time ago, so I forgot what I did. I guess I didn't buy it. Okay. So it's not required, <laughs> definitely. Then, <laughs> okay. So I gotta go to the C mission, right? Yeah, see Mission Ahoy. And I'm not reading the emails, I'm not reading the text messages, there's no point in reading this stuff. If I had to, I would. But there's no point. In GTA 4 we have to do that, we have to read stuff. But here we don't have to. Which is pretty good. I guess I'm going... Where am I going? Where am I going? Dude! Where are you going? Tell me! <laughs> to my house? Oh, I'm buying stuff from here. Why? I can't find where they move armor! Are you serious, bro? Why'd you buy armor? Armor's useless in this game. I guess to be safe. Yeah, okay. I get you. That was a little detour and it was be uh, close to the mission, that's why. I went here, I guess, I don't know. You don't actually need armor for the future missions. Well, for one of them you do need armor, but... Not much. Yeah, for a sticky bomb mission you don't need armor because you're just putting bombs on, on shacks and that's it. Okay, whatever. This mission, oh yes, 40, oh yeah, 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 this mission, I forgot about this mission, this mission, we have to kill the O'Neill brothers, yeah, right. For this mission I do need lots and lots of it. That's why I took it. It is 
pretty much required for no, not required. No, it's it's a difficult mission. Now this mission, back in the day, the first time I played this mission, gave me so much trouble, guys. It was very difficult. I, it took me like four tries to do. I think it was because I was new to the the mechanics and the shooting and whatnot. <laughs> Alright Trevor, you proved your point, you're not a hillbilly yourself. Cause you hate them, he's not a hipster because he hates hipsters. He... what does he hate? He hates... Mm, hipsters? He hates... hillbillies? He hates... Rednecks? No, he likes rednecks because Cletus is a redneck. And he likes him. So he likes rednecks. Okay. That's good. What is he actually? Is he not a redneck himself? I think he actually is. Okay. Let's go. So I wanted to take my car. But unfortunately it activated the cutscene which removed my car. So I said to myself, you know what, I'm just gonna go back to my car. Let's get my car. Shut up Trevor! Let's get my car and go to the house with the car. Because I was kind of afraid of this mission. Also look at my ammo. I have so much ammo for that mission. It's crazy how much ammo and weapons they give you. Okay. So I said to myself, I'm just gonna go close to the house and then kill him. Cause in the original playthrough I had, I did not do that. I just shot from, from far away. Which I thought it was a mistake and this is, I don't think this is a mistake because I do shoot a lot of people before getting into the house. That's good. I would have probably died earlier, but I didn't. Good. Yeah, Mr. T in the house, literally <laughs> in the house. I'm ready to kill some hellbilly bastards. There's so many guys, dude. You have to go to the basement. Where was the basement? I think over here, dude. You missed it, I think. Shut up. Oh yeah, shotgun time. Oh, there we go. This is it. This is the basement. I have to. Kill this bastard. And I have to get the jerry can. There's a way to not do this whole line with the jerry can. You can just put one drop and put another drop at the end of the trail. And it is screwed up because as you can see I missed one single thing. Yeah, one single dot was missed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a way quicker way of doing this mission, but I didn't take advantage of that. So I just took the jerry can and did it the traditional way. In my walkthrough, I'll not do it this way, because again, I'll do some research. Good. What I have to do here is just shoot the line, and it's gonna explode. However, however. I can't see it because of this now. If I shoot it from here and I if I miss one it fails the mission. Yeah, if you miss one single dot, it fails the mission. I did not know that. There's a way to do it. Though the way there's a way to miss some stuff. I don't know how. But I have seen it and I forgot. How to exactly do it. And I'll do it in the future. But now I have to do it the traditional way and, I, and it's so difficult to see the gasoline from the snow. Ah, I killed so many people. This mission is amazing, even though it's difficult. Alright, are we done Mr. Trevor? Can I move on with this mission? Please. Yeah, 
And this is the last drop. Let's just shoot it. Did I get it? Yes, I got it. Yeah. Dude, you crazy. And I'm not watching cutscenes, even though this cutscene was amazing, I should have watched it, but no. And the next step is to get out of here because... I'm not really suspicious or something, but even though... Even though we did raise lots of suspicion, they saw my face, they know who I am, they talked to me on the way too. So I guess I gotta get out of here and then I have to continue with the other missions. We have um, a few more missions, I think... Three missions or two missions? I'm not sure, but in one of the missions we have to drive all the way to Los Santos. Yeah, from his house to Los Santos. On the way we have to step uh, to stop at a place. We have to kill a bunch of people and then continue, but still it's a long drive. Whoops, sorry, wasn't me. Wasn't me. That's what Trevor would say. Oh, you got in my way. That's exactly what he would say. Oh, there's wait. Oh, this is the mission. Yeah, this is the last mission. Okay, so we need to, we have only one mission then. So, so we're headed to Los Santos? Yeah, we headed so, to Los Santos. Good. That's nice car right here, which also works. But this thing, guys, this thing is amazing, just like his truck. Even I think it's better than his truck. Yeah, a little better because it doesn't slide at all. His truck slides a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, not much. But this is great, this is great for off-roading, for... For general roading, I guess. For general driving, this is an amazing car. Buggy, think. Whatever it is. Oh, excuse me. Oh, why didn't you... Why didn't you hit him? Also, this doesn't make sense. It's snowing. It's not snowing, but there's lots of snow on the ground. There's also raining. It's raining so... And the snow does not disappear. Actually, when I look at it, you can see it's actually disappearing because there's puddles on the ground. Oh yeah, that's a nice touch, okay. So the actual rain has a, an effect on the terrain. Interesting, okay. So I was wrong, I guess. Okay, so there's two ways of doing this. Ultra Mega Stealthy or Ultra Mega Stupid. I'm gonna do it Ultra Mega Stupid. So what you do is... Throw this on the caravans or whatever they're called, mobile homes, I guess. Yeah, just throw it on them. And I make a wrong turn, unfortunately. Have to go back. Do this. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, and this was my demise. I missed it. I should not have missed it. If I didn't miss it, it would have been a piece of cake, but yep, uh, yep, see, they killed me. No cutting. No, no, no. What happens, happens. If I fail a mission, I fail a mission. It's okay. The weather is amazing in this mission. So much thunder, so much... Ooh, so great. Okay, so I have to plop these and explode them. As easy as that. And we have two options. Ultra Mega Stealthy or Stupid like I'm doing it. I'll do it stupid. And plop, there we go. This is what I wanted to do from the beginning. And now the people are gonna chase us, however they have bikes, and bikes on the snow are pretty bad to handle, so they're gonna just lose me. Yep, see, they lost me super quickly. This is what I wanted from the beginning, but unfortunately I had to, I had to do it two times. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, now comes the huge drive all the way back to Los Santos. The stories here told in this mission are very funny. Just so funny. The house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions. Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I didn't mean anything by that, P. Trevor? And from what I remember, I go, I'll use the main roads. Because I could, you know, I could crash. I could not even be able to climb a mountain. Even though this thing is gonna be pretty easy to climb a mountain, but it still could be cumbersome. 
adds a complete possibility, so be cautious. Very, very cautious. Just use the main roads, and yes, you can see there's some sliding, but it's a lot less than a normal car. I'm so glad I found this. This is such an amazing find. For this uh, playthrough, you know. For the winter mode playthrough. If it was on another playthrough, I, I would not have taken this. It's still good for off-road, but I use the main roads anyway, so... Yeah. I guess I did take them out. Okay. I thought I didn't, but... Okay. Good. Good on me. And I don't think it actually saved me much time. I guess it could have saved me some time, but it was a lot more dangerous to take it. Oh, look at this. The scenery, even with the winter mode, is amazing. So I'm trying to go down slowly, as slow as possible. Not to flip my vehicle, of course. I don't want to flip stuff. Yeah, with you, Trevor. He got stuck in the desert with you. Poor boy. I feel sorry for him, honestly. If my boss was just like Trevor, I... Oh, I will try to escape as quick as possible, but... I don't think he has a chance to do that. He can try to escape, but you know Trevor. Trevor's gonna find him. Trevor is gonna feed him to the hyenas. Hyenas? No. Jackals. Jackals? Jack jackals. <laughs> the dogs. The desert dogs. Jackals, I think. I don't know. I'm not speaking the English good. Yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. Just maybe drop a nuke. Just like that. It's just a normal thing, you know, dropping a nuke. Are you South Korea or something? Or not North Korea, was it? I'm not good with my directions. South is down, right? Or is South up? I don't know. Yeah, you're testing my ability to speak English well, and I'm failing at that. I'm failing your test. I should shut up now and just let you watch the gameplay and I should just shut up. But you're here to listen to me. If Okay, if this video was completely mute, I didn't talk at all, would you watch it? Hmm? Would you stick around for more than 10 minutes if I didn't talk? Is what I'm wondering. I don't think you would. You can tell me in the comments, of course. Actually, are you still watching? Many people are gonna get bored after three minutes, <laughs> even. And if a person sees a, uh, an hour long video, he's gonna say, oh, oh an hour long? Oh, no, not watching this crap. But I hope you do, I hope you watch it, I hope you like it. I hope you watch the whole series because it's gonna be a quite a long series, this is episode number three, and we have six more to do. Or seven more, I'm not sure. And we have a new safe house. Perfect. And I can finally switch to Michael and do his mission too. In this mission we also get introduced to Trevor. Well, Michael gets introduced to him. I did already got introduced to Trevor, but now Michael did. And Michael and Trevor met. And he's not very happy about that. I can guarantee. We grab a beer and a hours catch up properly i'm good homie she's my daughter i'll handle it judging by past behavior and the state of the rest of your family fuck only knows what that means hey fuck you yeah yeah fuck you trevor why'd you have to come here nobody asked you to come to michael you're a nobody i mean nobody wants to work with you except for ron i guess but ron ron is just doing He's bidding. He's not okay with what he's doing, with what Trevor's doing. But he's with him. Slippery snake. I know the second I leave you, you'll just go home. 
We're gonna get your girl from these assholes. You're not Why do you care, Trevor? Who is she to you anymore? You haven't seen her in 10 years, was it? 15 years? I'm not sure. But for a while you haven't seen them, so why would you care? Honestly, if I was in Trevor's place, Michael Double crossed me big time. He got ultra mega rich. He played dead for so many years. Not even a call from him. I would just kill him if I was Trevor. Why would you even talk to the dude? Just look him in the eye, point a gun at him and just shoot him. It's as easy as that, dude. I guess Trevor has a soft spot. He really has. Because usually he does kill people. He just kills them for no reason sometimes. And for some reason he kept Michael. I guess because he wants cash from him. He wants to pull a heist, he wants to get cash. And if he kills him, he won't get cash, he will just kill him, and that's gonna be it. He's gonna end the chapter. Okay, this will be it. Maze Bank Arena. Let's find him. Maze Bank Arena. Oh, let's do it. This mission sucks with the winter mod. Some missions, just like this one where you have to chase a guy, are very difficult. Because your car slides and his car does not. I wish it could slide his car, but no, it's scripted. His his route is scripted, so it cannot slide. It basically does not have basic um things, basic physics of vehicles. Come on, Michael. Also, I forgot how to get rid of this trailer, unfortunately, and this stupid car get out. And I have to drive a very slow vehicle, a very slow truck. Which does not help with the chase, even one bit. And honestly, this is a very stupid thing. Why do I have to get in this truck? I could have taken any car, There's, there were so many cars in that parking garage. But the game says, get the truck. It makes absolutely no sense. Oh, there we go. Finally, I found the button. So as you can see, I'm still chasing him. I don't know where he is. I lost him. It's because of the winter mod. Without the winter mod, this would be very easy. A lot easier. But even then, it's not very easy. So far, so... Decent, I guess, not very good. And not very bad. But this corner, for instance, would have taken me... I would have taken it a lot better. But now I didn't. And you don't actually have to go on the train tracks, you can just go on the street. Yeah, just use the street. No reason to go on the train tracks, because he's gonna go on the street afterwards. Also, I forgot that he's gonna make a turn, and I screwed up. Big time. And by the time I get out of here, I lost him. And I forgot his route. So, I said to myself, how oh, did he go to the front or to the right? Well, I guess let's go to the right. And no, he didn't go to the right. He did actually go to the front. Yeah, straight. So, here, I remember the, the turn. I know there's a turn. But even if I knew, I still crashed. Because of the slide. So I need to drive quickly. And I need to brake early. Which is a bummer. I have to drive super carefully. But at least every single mission in this game is possible with the winter mod. Every single mission. Which cannot be said for GTA 3. Because from what I remember, Sam was not possible. Was it Sam? From what I remember, one mission was not possible to, to be completed. I 
can't remember. You can watch it. Just watch the walk the playthrough and tell me. Yeah, you're taking your time because it's no way. And he's not affected, which is not fair. He should be affected too. Oh, pay him. Let's get down, shall we? We have to go to the canal. Ellis River, I think it's called. He just, he just said it, actually. I don't know what he said exactly, but I think the Ellis River is this... Is the name of it. Ooh, nice drift, dude. Nice drift on the hill. Only a little bit more. And afterwards, we have my revenge on Mr. Leslo. Leslo's in trouble. Look at him. <laughs> His car ran out of juice. As he said. Unfortunately, we won't see this amazing cutscene because I can't. I can't. I just can't because this is a playthrough without cutscenes and I have no car. What the heck? I would settle even for this piece of crap, but no, there's no car. Even he didn't stop. I don't want to shoot because if I shoot, the police is gonna come to me. And getting rid of police is so annoying. I guess I gotta settle for this. I don't wanna drive this, but I had to. See, even that is better. But it just came before it wasn't here. Alright, drift's pretty good. The drifting at least is good. But I'm not after drifting, I'm here to drive, not to drift. Obviously. Ammunition is spamming my inbox, like always. They always do that. Stupid ammunition. Oops, sorry! <laughs> I was not intending to save the person, but I did. Wow. That was a side mission, which I... Did... Um, I did have the mission. I completed half the mission. And I didn't even want to do it. But I did, because I have such a huge truck. Why would you get in my way, in the way of a huge truck? Okay, it's not huge, not as huge as... The previous thing we drove, but... Is this actually called a van? Oh yeah, I guess I gotta go... I'm gonna go to... Get some armor, yeah. Holy crap, I got so much cash. Oh, I got so much cash. Great. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go buy some armor. Good. And I did. For future missions. This is just for safety, guys. I do this for safety, even though I'm never gonna use it. Well, I'm probably gonna use it, but there's no point in taking it, because I have regenerating health. And this car is good, even with the winter mod. Now, usually the fast cars are pretty bad, but this is a heavy fast car. Heavy fast cars are good. Not entirely, but they're still good. Pretty good. Flight school, yeah, no, not doing that, it's not required, so don't need to do it. And you need to fly one helicopter as Michael, so, yeah. Only one helicopter and only for a little bit, so there's no point in taking lessons. And of course, again, in the walkthrough, I will complete the flight school, of course. I could take the taxi, oh, I'm actually gonna take the taxi, good, good job. No, stop it, taxi! Look at him. Okay. Yeah, I guess... I won't use taxis that much, but whenever I can, I will. Oh yeah, this was super far away, dude. Just so, so, so far away. It was a good thing I took the taxi. Yeah, honestly. What was this mission of? Oh yes, I'm gonna get trapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This mission is kind of suckish, and I'm not big a big fan of it. It's okay. I actually think they're gonna take my armor away. Let's see. Is my armor gonna disappear? Davy, how you doing? What we got? Uh, John Doe. Male, we just have to wait, I guess. Wait and see. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut. 
Still in its wrapper. I have to watch this cutscene. Usually I don't. Usually cutscenes are skippable, but this one is not. Dude, could you imagine working at your place, working with dead people, and all of a sudden one of the dead people just gets up and grabs your throat? I would just lose it, dudes. I would leave this place immediately. Well, I would probably be dead. <laughs> but whatever, if I survive, I'm never gonna work here ever again. And I'll remember this till the rest of my life. A dead person coming to life, dude. So crazy. Oh yeah, I do have my armor. Very good, very good. I like it. Terrible shot. Mr. Michael, you're a bat at shooting. Half my armor is gone, oh no. I'm actually still getting used to the special abilities. Because this is, this is almost at the beginning of the game. I mean, three hours have passed, but this is still in the beginning stages. So I'm still getting used to the special abilities. I mean, I just got introduced to Trevor, so yes, this is still the beginning of the game. I'm trying to skip as many of these people. Okay. Now to shoot many of them. Okay, get up. I could take my my weapons, but I don't need to, I didn't have many weapons anyway. But yeah, there's a stash and I can take the stash with my weapons. I could do it, but I won't. Most likely. Ah, uh, where are you going, dude? Dude, <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> yeah, I got lost. I just have to climb. Climb a bit and... Whoop. Nice. Good job, Mr. M. Or Mr. B, because Mr. B is controlling Mr. M. Congratulations to me. And my weapons are right over there behind me, but I don't want to take them. Dude, shoot the window, there's <laughs> a window. Wow. And there we go, guys. Mission complete. Oh, it's not complete. Yeah, I have to get rid of the cops. Yeah, there's many cops. I forgot about that little detail. Which is the... Now, if this was on the original game, I would get in the other car, not in this one. But since this is the winter mode, this car is gonna do a lot better. Don't shoot the cops, stupid. You get more stars. Okay, now I have to escape. The good thing is that they are also affected. Which helps me quite a lot. I should have actually gotten in the parking lot. Yeah, but I'm stupid and I didn't. Oh, this works too. Yeah, getting down here. Yeah, this works too. Good job. Oh, that hurt. Now, sometimes the cops don't come down here, but sometimes they do. And choppers appear sometimes too. Now, these people on the left of me are on the street and there's a huge wall separating me from them. Which helps a lot, which means that they're not gonna get me. Three stars. Oh, a cop spawned. Yeah, there we go. Done. Ha <laughs> ha. Easy peasy demon squeezy. So I have to get out and th is this the way out? Yep, this is gonna work. Perfect. I'm a mastermind. <laughs> or just got lucky. Mega lucky. No, no, not there, not there. No, no, don't, dude! Why did I go back? I'm so stupid. I could have just gone the other direction. Look at this guy. Oh, this also works, okay. <laughs> wow, bouncy, bouncy. I could have taken also that ramp behind me, there's a ramp, but I didn't. I'm pretty sure this is the last mission. Oh yes, I have to find Michael, meet with Michael, and then end the episode. So this was it, I hope you guys enjoyed. An hour long episode. And I'm pretty sure the next one's gonna be also an hour. And it will be on, on a new recording session. 
we'll start from scratch. And this is the meeting. We'll share some words and we'll end the episode. And I missed it, of course. And there he is. And guys, mission complete, mission passed. I hope you enjoyed and next time we'll continue from this spot on a new recording session. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.